I love it when they make this kind of an Are you for real? NYPD not investigating banker who attacked women, black women. Thank you for that. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Let's remind you of what happened. So from the very first frame of this video, we can see that something has already been happening before the recording began. As you can notice here, there's someone, at least one person on the ground and one or two people trying to help them up. We can also see that there's something all over him. And he says to one of the bystanders, she threw all over me. And it looks like some sort of liquid, like a drink. But whatever happened before, whatever this situation was, what we see right here is him approaching this young woman who has her hands down, who is not coming at him aggressively at all, followed by him punching her directly in the face, allegedly breaking her nose. So the breaking news today is the NYPD made a special announcement that they're not investigating this. We reported yesterday, according to independent reporter Talia Jane on X, Jonathan K. There he is. Partner, managing director, and head of business services at New York based investment bank, Mo Ellison Company, assaulted multiple women after Brooklyn Pride, June 8th. He broke one black woman's nose. He sent two other women to the ER. Despite this, the NYPD. Mayor Adams says they're the finest in the world. Have not investigated the alleged attacks. Hmm. Are they busy riding the subways? Intimidating people on the subway? Oh, oh, that's right. Democratic Party said stand down, don't do that, not now. You can do it after the election. Anyway, Kay's company on Sunday confirmed an employee committed the assaults. And that it's under investigation, but did not name Kay as the subject of the investigation. All of these announcements, and yet no one arrested for assaulting, breaking a black woman's nose, assaulting two other women. But the NYPD, on the other hand, has nothing to investigate. It suggested in an email to News One, responding to questions of whether the NYPD was investigating the incident, a spokesperson for the Deputy Commissioner of Public Information would only say, the NYPD is aware of the video. Mueller, Mueller, I mean, are we making New York safer or not? I'm just, I'm unclear about it. He doesn't get to go to Rikers Island and await illegally, you know, a extended period of time while we figure things out. Because if he looked a different way, I, I can assure you he'd be at Rikers, even innocent, waiting, waiting, being assaulted. Being harmed. All righty. Hmm. NYPD is aware of the video. Without addressing the woman in the video, the NYPD told News One in an email that we encourage anyone who has been a victim to file a police report, adding that they currently have no complaint reports on file. I, you can't even send somebody down there and maybe say, well, what went on here? According to NYPD's own website, other parties beside the victim can report crimes. Maybe we should do it. Crimes not in progress, depending on where the crime occurred. You may report the crime to agencies such as the MTA police, New York State Police, Port Authority Police, if the location of the crime falls within their respective jurisdictions. Otherwise, for certain report types, you can. File an online police report, or you can visit your local precinct. To submit tips about a crime, if you have information or a tip about a crime that may lead to the arrest of a criminal or assist law enforcement in its investigation of a crime, contact Crime Stoppers. Crime Stoppers allows you to submit information and tips anonymously. Huh. Perhaps one of the Park Slope residents who spoke to the Daily Mail about their neighbor will file a police report if the victim does not. Either way, the NYPD suggested it wouldn't act 
without such a complaint being filed. Now, I'm not, you know, in law enforcement, Senator, but I feel like there's people going out of their way not to do much. They're, they're sending out statements, they're posting things on X. And I don't know that, that should this man be employed? If, if a company goes so far and posts something saying, the man who committed the assault works for us. I expected in another five minutes, their next thing to say, the man who committed the assaults no longer works for us. But I have not seen that, Senator. Can you make some of this make sense? No, this one okay. I cannot. I appreciate it. Unless we're missing something, just in case all the pieces to this puzzle are not before us. But just based on what we do know, none of this is making sense. I wonder for the for the NYPD if this man was caught on camera shooting somebody and no witnesses came forward, but they got it on video, clear as day. I'm talking about a video that is, is very clear, it's not grainy. Saying just this guy, but but he shot somebody and the, the victim didn't die, but they didn't come forward and no other witnesses came forward, would they treat this the same, Sharon? This doesn't make sense to me. You got the man on video doing what he did. Now, whatever preceded this, yeah, we should know that too. That's what that's what the investigation should reveal. But to just let this man go free like this and say, ah, we're not doing anything until some witnesses come forward, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I mean, they get people get tickets, people who jaywalk, get held to a higher standard than what this gentleman, and I use the term loosely, this dude mm -hmm. is being held. It is not, I can't make it make sense here. It makes no sense to me. And that's why I'm putting the caveat. Is there yeah. some missing pieces to the puzzle that we are unaware of? I know I, I got a ticket before a red light camera in Cleveland. But somebody gave me a ticket and I, I huh? And it wasn't yeah. even me driving. I think they were bringing my car back from some kind of service, whatever it was. But I said, well, you can't ticket a car, you ticket the person, right? And they said, well, this is what we're doing. Red light camera. Yeah, absolutely. I saw something on camera and a black woman's nose is broken and two other people had to go to the ER. Is New York going to be safe or not? <laughs> Only when someone says, I've been a victim and then they'll get to it, I guess. Or be a Mayor banker. Adams. Yes, so, be a banker. So, yeah, he's a yeah. partner too. You see high mm -hmm. up and I know their egos are something else. I dated one, but I don't want to even get into it because that's a, that'll be another show. <laughs> but I said it to his face before too. You're a narcissist, okay? It's, I think you're a narcissist. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, he is. He actually admitted it. He said, I am. I've heard you he said, quote, best. I heard that before. I took him to a counselor just to make sure you want to get back together. I need her. Blessing here. I need to see, because you can't always see what everybody else sees. Yes. And I uh, took the rare step of saying, I know I don't usually say this, but I, I be careful. Okay. And he said, quote, I've been told that before. An honest narcissist? I don't 